Chapter 6, Fun with Give and Take You know, Apu, I've been working with big numbers now. That's very good, Pri. I'm so proud of you. Why don't we move on to get a little more practice on addition and subtraction? Let's say you had 125 color papers. You gave one each to 62 of your classmates. How many are left with you? Pretty easy to figure that out, right? We have to subtract the two numbers. We're going to use the tokens here again. We have hundreds, tens, and ones. So we have 125 minus 62 equals. So let's subtract the ones first. We have 5 minus 2 equals 3. In the tens place, we have 2 minus 6. So what we do over here is we have to borrow from the hundreds place. So let's borrow 100. So this becomes 0 over here, and we carry this 100 to the tens place. So 100 becomes 10 tens. That's 10 plus 2 equals 12. So 12 minus 6 equals 6. So our answer over here is 63. That wasn't so hard, was it? OK, let's try another one. Let's say you had 300 rupees in your pocket. You bought a few things for 235 rupees. You paid the shopkeeper 300 rupees. Now the shopkeeper gave you back rupees 50 as change. Do you think he gave you the right amount? Let's write it down. Let's first take away 235 from 300. And we'll use the tokens again. We have the hundreds, tens, and ones. So we have 300 minus 235. Let's start from the ones place first. Now we cannot take away 5 from 0, can we? So let's borrow from the tens. Oops, we have a 0 here too. So what do we do? OK, never mind. We can't borrow from the tens, but we can borrow from the hundreds. So we cancel this 3 and write a 2. So what we have done right now is that we have borrowed a 100. So 100 is 10 tens, right? So in the tens column, we write a 10. So now we can borrow 110 and write it in the ones column. When we borrow 110 from the 10 tens, we'll be left with 9 tens. So in the ones column, we now have 10 minus 5 equals 5. In the tens column, we have 9 minus 3 equals 6. And in the hundreds, we have 2 minus 2 equals 0. So the shopkeeper must pay back rupees 65 but he only gave you back rupees 50. So how much more should you get? 65 minus 50 equals rupees 15. So you should have gotten back 15 more rupees. That wasn't a nice shopkeeper. It's a good thing that you know your change and how to calculate how much you should get back. Let's try doing a few more problems. Let's say you've been saving some money to buy a new sports racket which is for rupees 560. You have collected 313 rupees so far. How much more money do you think you need to buy the racket? So let's subtract 313 from 560. So we have 560 minus 313. We write that down. So let's do the ones first. We have 0 minus 3. So we know that we need to borrow from the tens column. So this becomes 5 tens. And here we have 10 minus 3, which is 7. In the tens, we have 5 minus 1, which equals 4. And in the hundreds, we have 5 minus 3, which is 2. So you need to save up 247 rupees more. Wow, that's a lot more saving than you got to do. So let me teach you a cool method to check your answer. Let's write it over here in these boxes. We have 560 minus 313 gave you 247, right? So let's write here in this other box 247 plus 313 
So let's do this with the ones column first. We have 7 plus 3 equals 10. So we write 0 over here and we carry the 1 over to the tens column. So we now have 110 plus 4 plus 1 equals 6. Now the next one in the hundreds column is 2 plus 3 equals 5. So it's 560. See, we've got the right answer. Isn't that pretty cool how you can check whether you got the right answer or not?